Hey y'all, it's Rosie and I'm going to show you how to make some real deal authentic soul food, collard greens and ham hocks. But to make it really simple, we're going to make it in the crock pot. So let's get right into the recipe. So we'll need some ham hocks like I stated before. But if you don't like ham hocks or if you don't eat pork, you can use smoked turkey. So here are my ham hocks. I'm going to dice up some jalapeno peppers to add a nice spiciness to my greens. If you don't like spiciness or if you can't handle any spice, you can leave those out. And we'll also need some nice yellow onions, okay? If you don't want to use yellow, you can use a different color. So let's start off by adding in our smoked uh, ham hocks into that crock pot. And now we're going to make it rain with our onions and peppers. So place everything in there. Once that's in there, I'm going to start adding in some minced garlic, and that adds lots of flavor. If you're not a fan of garlic or if you don't want to add as much as I'm using, you can cut that out or cut it down. And now I'm going to pour in some water. I'm using water instead of chicken broth because I'll be adding seasonings later and I don't want it to be too salty. But if you want to use uh, chicken broth, you can. So now I'm going to place the lid on my crock pot and I'm going to let this cook until my ham hocks are cooked to my preference. Meanwhile, here are my collard greens. As you see, they're nicely chopped and clean and good to go. And let's peek in a couple hours, of course. This is what our ham hocks look like. As you see, they're falling off the bone. That's how I like my ham hocks. If they're not falling off the bone, they are not cooked enough for me. Okay. So as you see, it has its own broth. That's why I did not use chicken broth. And once I pretty much tear up the ham hocks or tear them apart, I'm going to start adding in my collard greens. And I'm using, uh, I can't remember the quart size, but I'll leave it on my blog. Can't remember how big my crock pot is, but it's pretty big and I'm able to or I was able to put two whole pounds of collard greens and the ham hocks and everything else in here. So once everything's in there, I'm going to start adding in my seasonings. And all I need, for my taste anyway, is a little bit of seasoning salt and some cracked black pepper. You can add whatever else you like to add. Off camera, I did add some vinegar because you know those real deal authentic soul food greens do have vinegar. And if you like your greens on the sweeter side, I don't, but if you do, you can add some sugar at this time. So now we are ready to let this cook some more. I'm going to place the lid on there, let it cook for a couple more hours, and this was my finished look. Now, if you want the exact measurements, the cooking time, and everything else, head over to my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. It will be available there. I'm ready to dig in. It has a lot of ham hocks and onions and garlic, so flavorful. And my favorite part is the pot liquor so once I put it in a bowl I always pour a nice cup of pot liquor all over my collard greens and I am ready to go I want to thank you all for watching I truly appreciate it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it